are going to be TIG welding with the Forney Easy Weld 100 ST. This machine has a 90 amp output and a 120 volt input. It can be used on household power as long as you have at least a 20 amp breaker. We have our machine set to TIG welding on the small toggle switch here. I have it set to 60 amps for this 10 gauge material that we will be welding. I have my torch in the negative and I have my ground in the positive. So we are set up electrode negative for TIG welding. We have a gas input of 100% argon. In order for the gas to turn on and off on this machine, you do have to open this valve here on the torch neck and then close it when you're done using it. In order for your weld to be shielded, you have to make sure to turn that on. If you do not turn that valve on, it will contaminate your tungsten as well as your material. This torch here is a 9FV. FV stands for flex, head, and valve. The flex on the torch head is just easier for you to access what you're going to be welding and make it more comfortable. Also something to remember is once your machine is powered on and you put your torch down, your tungsten is hot. Therefore, if your tungsten touches any type of material that is actually grounded, it is going to arc. So you just want to be careful when you're setting down your torch to make sure that your tungsten is not going to touch anything. Before we get started welding, uh, I'm just going to tell you what I'm going to do for the first half of this weld. I'm going to do an autogenous weld. That means I'm going to just heat up the base material and fuse it together without using a filler metal. In the second half of the weld, I will use this 16th um, filler metal to fill our weld. This setup here is just a lap joint, so we're just going to do a flat, small fillet on this lap. So we will try that out and see what we get. So this machine is a scratch start machine, so we do have to make contact with the tungsten to the base material before it will actually ignite. So I will turn my gas on and we will get welded. So that was a little less than half. The reason I stopped is because I saw that my angle was off a little bit. So we were eating away too much of this top plate with that heat. So I'll go for about another quarter of an inch and try to correct that angle on my torch and then I will start adding the filler metal. adjusted I am going to start adding our filler also if you notice at the end of each weld I kind of let my torch just sit over the top of that weld pool and my gas is still on that's just to protect it 
from any contamination because that weld pool is still hot by the time I'm done welding and pull that arc away to shut it off. So that is why I just leave that on just for a couple extra seconds. So since this is a lift arc torch, um, it does make it a little bit more difficult to not necessarily get it started, but when you're stopping, it makes it a little harder just to control your ending of your puddle. Uh, once you do it after a few times, it gets a little easier, but that is our TIG weld. It fused in very nicely between the two plates. Um, if you are interested in learning how to TIG weld but you can't afford an expensive TIG welding machine, this Easy Weld um, is perfect for that. It's a low end, low price, and it's super easy to set up. And you can just go ahead and do it, try it out a couple different times, get good at this, and then once you get to the point where you want to upgrade, then you can move into our higher end TIG machines. This machine is really good for just if you're going to do ornamental work, so small little projects, um, any kind of thin body work, uh, this machine will do very well. It's also super lightweight, so therefore you can take it and move it around wherever you need it to be. And so it's very accessible and super easy to maneuver around when you need to do something that's not necessarily close to where your machine sits all the time. And that's TIG welding with the Forney Easy Weld 100ST.